First ball of the day. First run of the day. Hit the length. That's a good shot. And that's the first boundary of the evening. Just position. Well, Mohamed Nawaz starts uh, his over with a boundary. A desperate dive, not quite enough. Shot, pulled. There's a huge gap there, and this will race away to the boundary. Just, oh, that's uh, the patch. There's a fielder there, and yes, we've got the first breakthrough. And that too. Trying to hit this over mid wicket, and it just got big. Slightly late on it, but a catch and another collision. Oh, that's well bowled. That is well bowled. Oh, the edge flies wide of the slip. There's the edge. Where's the slip? And that was up. Foolish delivery. One bounce. That's a very sweet shot. Oh, he's found a way through. That should have been cut off. Slammed away. Everybody was up on the offside, and Jax had eyes only for that side of the ground from Jax. And looks for it again and just gets it over the head of the skipper. Oh, that was a lucky escape. Tahani thought he'd got his man. He deceived him with the slower ball. Fine sweep, and it beats the despairing dive once again. Toe of the bat, toe of the bat, and gone. Long hop, not quite middling the ball, hitting the ball straight to the fielder, and had the relief this time around, making no mistake. Wicket number two. Well, he finds the gap straight away. It's another long hop. You're not in the right position to, to tag it away for four. Duck it, on the other hand. Reverse, absolutely nailed. And that's not out of the middle either. Taken. All that catching practice. He might get hammered, but good thing with Usman Kader, he's a wicket taker. It's the second wicket. He has fetched for Pakistan, nicely taken by Nawaz. Then amended. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so sweetly struck. And then just look how the bat speed comes through nice and the follow through. It is almost Gary Sober's style from all those years ago. And I think when he played the, the back. shot, David, his eyes were on the ball. The minute he hit, hit, there's another shot. This one extraordinary for one very obvious reason. It was so wide that he'd come down the pitch. He had to reach it. That was the first point. So having reached it, three wickets gone so far tonight. And that's uh, fortunate. Anyone else getting the feeling that uh, Ben Duckett likes a sweep shot? There we go again, that one has found the gap. Especially against the spinner. Oh, that's a brilliant shot, no need to run for those, this will race away to the boundary. Of course, he's got pace. Look at it, that's a good delivery. Oh no, it's gone out of the park here. What a shot! He's chased him, he's seen him go down the leg side, he's chased him. But what Harry Brook has done really well, he stayed stable. He stayed in good position. Got under the ball and all he had to do was make contact. At it. <laughs> make that. Well guided, that's gone very quickly, that is clever. Oh, he's nicked it. It was half intentional, half fortunate. Deep in the crease this time and deep, deep into the crowd. Brook went deep in the crease and allowed the ball come close to him. 88 metres, a big one. So that's where he goes. You could almost have guessed it. You could have telegraphed it. It's 50 for Harry Brook, his very first in England colours. Harris Ralph back into the attack, but Ben Duckett gets away to his first international half century, following teammate Harry Brook. Oh, it's got caught in the grill. Last games. Oh, that can be nasty. Managed to get up uh, underneath. Man was up. Oh, that has been belted. Absolutely belted over the top of extra cover. They'll get two here. Yeah, that has been uh, weighted to perfection, how deliberate it was. 
He went for the uh, pace off option into the pitch and Duckett says thank you very much and bangs it over square leg for six. How strong these boys are nowadays. It's just a little flick, isn't it? No real, real whoop. He just, uh, just timed it. Although the ball didn't arrive, he just waited, waited, and then just a little flick. Oh, shot, he's nailed it. Oh, that is so well timed. Uh, not much of a gap between the, the two fielders, a square and mid wicket. This was hit hard, this was timed beautifully. It's just at a head height, but uh, look at that, the ball travels very, very quickly here in Karachi. Finds the gap again. Nobody moved, nobody moved. There we go, just a little punch right at the end and pick the gap beautifully. Yeah, exceptional batting, knows exactly what he wants to do, just a little shimmy, but he keeps so still at the point of impact too. That is beautiful, that is sublime. Well, that also brings uh, 200, 205 for three. I'm just trying to think which short he can't play. Oh, that's four as well. That's quite deliberate. For Brook to thread it through once again. Absolutely high class this. He's got the answer to every delivery and he knows. How are your skills? Oh no, put it wide. There's no answer. There's just no answer to it. it makes it look very, very straightforward. Uh, just a ramp shot this time around and this has been some batting striking at 235 well we all talk about strike rates they should be up there 160 170 what about this strike rate well bowled really well bowled followed duck it cramped him for room come back for a couple excellent again that is a really very good final over. It should be a run out. Oh, the throw's a poor one. Both uh, Duckett and Brook were labouring a little bit there at the end. And who can blame them? That has been a special partnership from a special pair of players who are in the infancy of their international careers.